As November ends in 2025, a dramatic shift is brewing high above Western Europe. A vast mass of Arctic air is set to sweep across the UK, France and neighbouring countries, bringing a sudden, severe drop in temperature. This isn't just a typical winter chill, it's an Arctic air invasion, a powerful reminder of our planet's interconnected climate. Meteorologists have tracked this pattern for days. The usual barriers at the North Pole are weakening, letting dense, icy air spill south. For those in its path, the change will be abrupt. Gentle autumn breezes replaced by biting polar winds. The weather in London or Paris is directly linked to conditions thousands of miles away in the Arctic Circle. As this cold air descends, it's a vivid illustration of how distant events shape our daily lives. With the cold set to take hold around December 3rd, now is the time to prepare and observe. The arrival of Arctic air is more than a forecast. It's a story of wind, pressure and temperature about to transform Western Europe. An Arctic air invasion occurs when extremely cold, dense air escapes the Arctic and surges south into milder regions. Normally, a powerful wind pattern keeps this frigid air locked over the North Pole. When that containment weakens, the cold air spills out, displacing warmer air in a dramatic, rapid event. This air forms over snow and ice during the polar winter, becoming intensely cold and dry. As it moves south, it brings a sharp, biting cold, distinct from Europe's usual damp chill. Temperatures can drop by 10 to 15 degrees Celsius in just a day or two, plunging regions into deep freeze. These outbreaks are part of Earth's way of balancing heat between the tropics and the poles. However, changes in the Arctic like warming and melting sea ice, may be making these invasions more frequent or severe. The dynamics of Arctic air invasions are evolving, with global climate shifts influencing their intensity. The journey of Arctic air begins near the North Pole, where cold, dense air is set in motion by the jet stream. The jet stream usually acts as a barrier, but when it meanders and dips south, it opens a pathway for Arctic air to surge toward Europe. This cold air often travels over Greenland and Iceland, then across the North Atlantic toward the UK and mainland Europe. As it moves over warmer ocean waters, the air picks up some moisture, fuel for snow showers when it reaches land. The UK, directly in the path, often feels the first and strongest impact, followed by France, Belgium and Germany. The Alps may slow the advance, but the cold often finds its way through, bringing freezing conditions deep into the continent. The entire journey, from Arctic to central France, can unfold in just a few days. The result, a swift, sweeping transformation of the European landscape. This atmospheric odyssey is a testament to the speed and power of our planet's weather systems. The root of this Arctic invasion lies high above, in the stratospheric polar vortex, a vast spinning pool of cold air over the Arctic. When stable, the vortex locks cold air at the pole, keeping European winters mild. But disturbances, like sudden stratospheric warming, can weaken or split the vortex, sending cold air south. This disruption alters the jet stream, causing it to buckle and open the gates for Arctic air to plunge into Europe. The December 2025 event is a classic example. A stratospheric disturbance triggers a chain reaction, unleashing the cold. Scientists are studying whether a warming Arctic is making these disruptions and severe cold snaps more common. It's a complex, evolving dance between warming trends and winter extremes. 
The cold snap is already visible in temperature data. Scandinavia and the UK are dipping below seasonal averages. Night frosts are spreading, signalling the advance of the main Arctic air mass. Temperature maps show a growing cold anomaly, with blue and purple hues expanding across northern Europe. By early December, the UK, France and Central Europe could see temperatures 8 to 12 degrees below average. The 850 HPA temperature, a key metric, will drop to 5 to 10 degrees Celsius, making it hard for surface temperatures to rise above freezing. This marks a sharp contrast to recent mild winters, signalling the first widespread, severe cold of the season. The numbers are clear. A major shift is underway and the reality of bitter cold is about to set in. Forecasts agree. Western Europe faces a significant freeze by December's first week. Daytime temperatures in the UK and northern France may struggle to rise above zero, with some areas staying below freezing for days. Nighttime lows could plunge to 5 to 10 degrees Celsius, especially in rural and mountainous regions. Persistent northeasterly winds will create a biting wind chill, making it feel even colder. Snow showers are likely along eastern and northern coasts, while inland areas will see crisp, sunny days and severe frosts. Infrastructure will be tested, roads icy, energy demand soaring, and the risk of burst pipes rising. Even light snow, combined with deep cold, can cause significant disruption. The Arctic air will reshape daily routines across Western Europe. Dressing in layers, finding hats and gloves, and bracing for the cold will become daily habits. Vulnerable groups, especially the elderly, will need extra care as the risk of health issues rises. Roads and public transport will face delays and hazards from ice, while air travel may see disruptions from de-icing procedures. At home, heating systems will work overtime, driving up energy use and bills, and increasing the risk of frozen pipes. Preventative measures, like insulating pipes, will be crucial. Yet, the freeze brings stark, beauty-frosted landscapes, silvered trees, and clear, crisp air. For those who venture out, winter's severity offers a unique, silent spectacle. The world, muffled by cold, takes on a new, striking character. Wildlife must adapt quickly to survive the sudden freeze. Birds will flock to feeders, struggling to find food and water as the ground and ponds freeze. Small mammals will shelter underground, while larger animals may venture closer to towns in search of food. Hibernators, if undisturbed, will weather the cold, but others face real challenges. Hardy native plants will endure, but delicate garden species may suffer frost damage. Gardeners will need to protect vulnerable plants or move them indoors. The frost helps nature by breaking down soil and controlling pests, a harsh but vital process. Rivers and lakes may freeze at the edges, creating both beauty and danger. The landscape grows quieter, the world stilled by the deep cold. As the Arctic air descends, Preparation and awareness are key. Dress warmly, use windproof layers, and check on vulnerable neighbors. Ensure heating systems work and insulate exposed pipes to prevent costly damage. Community spirit matters. Simple acts can make a big difference during severe cold. This Arctic invasion is a powerful reminder of our connection to Earth's climate. By understanding, preparing, and supporting each other, we can weather the big freeze safely. Winter is truly arriving. Wrap up, stay safe, and enjoy the frosty beauty.